lustrous, we have discussed how to solve the nonlinear programming, uh, nonlinear programming problem, optimization problem using the integer point method. That means, what are the algorithm steps are involved here? First, you take a point in inside the feasibility region that is we call the interior point and then you <coughs> write the what is called the necessary condition and this necessary condition whatever you will get it it depends on the number of decision variable involves in the optimization problem if the decision variables are n then we have a n such type of equation, necessary condition equation, set of equation, which may be in linear or non-linear depending upon the objective function and the constraints. And next step is you have to solve this set of equation, which is obtained from the necessary condition by either analytically or iterative method or you have to solve by numerical methods that we have mentioned it, if you solve in, in analytical method express variables, if you want to express the variables x 1, x 2 in terms of the penalty coefficient, it is very tough for higher decision variable, higher number of decision variables. So, you know, after solving this one, you check the what is called optimality condition. This is the optimality condition, if the function below does not change and it is less than the epsilon, then you can stop or you check tau k f of k is less than equal to epsilon, tau k is greater than 0 and f of x k is also greater than 0 the way we have defined f k. Once this is satisfied, you can stop that means we have reached to the optimal solution using the interior point method that means it is approaching to the boundaries of the problem, feasible region which is near to the boundary of these problems. Next, if it does not satisfy this condition, then go for next iteration by assigning the penalty coefficient tau k plus 1 is equal to c into t k and c is less than 1. If the initial value of c is selected some, then you multiply it by for say 0 0.1, you reduce the penalty coefficient in turn you are approaching towards the boundary of the feasible region. Then you increment the assigned k with k plus 1 and go to the step 2 and repeat the process to obtain the optimal solution of nonlinear programming problem using interior point method. Let us take in one example and see how one can solve this using or adopting this procedure. So, our problem is solve example. Solve the optimization problem problem as given below. Minimize f of x which is 4 by 3 x 1 plus 1 whole cube plus 4 x 2 which you can write it 4 agree. Then you can write it this what is called 4 if you take it common then it is 1 third x 1 plus 1 whole cube plus x 2 is equal to this. This is our optimum minimum value of this uh, minimum we have to optimize this one subject to 1 of x you have a 2 minus 2 x 1 which is less than equal to 0 and g 2 of x is equal to minus 2 x 2 is less than equal to 0. So, from this equation we can say the x 2 this indicates the feasibility x 2 is greater than equal to 0 and x 1 here from this equation we can say that x 1 is greater than equal to 1. So, this is our that region feasible region of this one if you plotted this one 
if a solution if it is solution you can say. If you plot this one that our x 1 is in these directions, x 2 if you write it in these directions, then our feasible region is that part of this one. Here is the feasible region all these things that may x 2 is greater than 0 the upper part and x 1 is greater than e 1 greater than equal to 1. So, this is the our feasible region. Now, <coughs> see the values of this, this agree. So, now we according to our this you find out that the our solution is penalty function x x tau of k. What is this? The objective function plus tau k summation of j is equal to there are inequality condition two inequality conditions are there at j of x. Agree? This. So, which we can write for our example this one it is a x one third x 1 plus 1 whole cube plus x 2. This is our f of x is nothing but a our f of x plus tau k i is j is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 is minus 1 and g j j is equal to 1 this value is 2 minus 2 x k. So, it will be a 2 common if you take minus 2 x 1 means x 1 agree this plus tau k into minus g 2 of x g 2 of x is equal to our g 2 of x is minus 2 x 1. So, minus minus 2 x 2 this is 2 x 2 say g 2 2 x 2. So, e ultimately it will come like this way 4 that one third x 1 plus 1 whole cube plus x 2 bracket closed minus tau k 2 1 minus x 1 then minus minus plus. So, this will be a plus agree plus then tau k divided by 2 x 2 agree. So, this this thing is the our penalty function for this one and tau k is the our penalty coefficients for when inequality constraint is there. It is obvious that if you have a equality constraints are there, we cannot directly apply this one at this moment. So, let us see that one how to solve that quantity. So, now our necessary condition so del p with respect to del x 1. If you differentiate this with respect to del x 1 3 x 1 plus 1 3. So, 3 3 cancel this is 4 x 1 plus 1 whole square then x 2 will not come into the picture then x 1 is involved here that minus tau k then if you go up it will be a minus 1 into tau k by 2 is constant every again minus 1 this then it will come 1 minus x 1 whole square then differentiation of that minus 1 minus x 1 is minus 1. So, ultimately it is coming is 4 if you consider that this equal to 0 agree. So, I can write this one x 1 plus 1 whole square I divided both side by 4 minus tau k tau k by 8 this minus minus plus. So, this into 1 minus x 1 whole square is equal to 0 or this or 
So, that is the equation we got it. Let us call this equation is 1. Then next equation, because we have a two decision variables are there, that next equation del p of this necessary next necessary condition is x 2 is equal to you are differentiating this with respect to x 2. So, there is only one x 2 is here, another x 2 is here. So, this will be a 4 minus tau. Now, let us see this one 4 then x 2 is here tau k by 2 tau k by 2 if you do and then x 2 1 by x 2 differentiation plus tau k by 2 1 by x 2 differentiation is minus 1 x 2 square x 2 square that equal to 0 or again divided by 4 both sides. So, it will be a 1 that is minus tau k by 8 x 2 square is equal to 0, this is tau k. So, if I multiply by both side 8 x square, then it is x x 2 square minus tau k is equal to 0, this. So, <coughs> this is let us call equation number 2. Agree? So, from 2 one can write it x 2 from from 2 one can write it x 2 square is equal to tau k by 8. So, x 2 is equal to plus minus tau k by 8. Agree? So, this is the solution. Now, question comes here which sign that means, this is root 8 and root k. So, this is which sign this x 2 is plus minus root over tau k by root 8. Then which sign we will consider? We have seen if you just see the problem of our original problem our x 2 is greater than 0 that is what we have seen x 2 is greater than 0. So, if you want to make x 2 is greater than 0, 8 is a positive quantity, tau k is also positive quantity. So, we have to consider the positive sign of that one. So, consider positive sign only and this is we come to conclusion from the what is called our feasible region is given x 2 is greater than 0 on this one. So, therefore, consider so x 2 is equal to plus tau k square root of tau k divided by 2 root 2, this is our that one. So, now we can get it the x 1 value from equation 1, from equation 1, from equation 1, we see this equation 1 now that one from equation 1 is this is 0. So, x 1 plus 1 whole square is equal to I can write it this way. From equation 1 I can write it x 1 plus 1 whole square is equal to tau k 8 1 minus x 1 whole square. Agree? So, now if you just do it 1 1 plus a plus b a minus b. So, it is a coming this and this will come a x 1 square whole square is equal to tau k by 8. Agree? So, my 1 minus x 1 square is equal to plus minus root tau k divided by 2 root 2. Now, look at this one which sign I will consider now this one. If x 1 is less than 1, if let us call x 1 value is less than 1 that this quantity will be positive. If x 1 quantity is greater than 1, then this quantity, this quantity will be negative, but our feasible region is 
x 1, if you see the our statement x 1 is greater than equal to 1. So, this quantity will be a negative for that feasible region. So, we will consider consider negative sign only. So, our 1 minus x 1 square is equal to minus square root of tau k divided by 2 root 2. So, from there I can easily find out x 1 square is equal to 1 plus tau k divided by 2 root 2 and x 1 is equal to once again this quantity you see tau k is positive quantity this is positive 1 plus tau k is also positive. So, this will be a plus minus square root of 1 plus square root of tau k divided by 2 root k this whole quantity is positive quantity because of tau k is positive quantity. Now, once again what value of plus we will consider or minus we will consider naturally we have considered plus because x 1 value is greater than equal to 1 and this since this is a positive if we consider negative that x 1 value is coming negative. So, consider what is called positive sign only based on the our physical region of this one. So, our solution now x 1 is coming now if you see therefore, our x 1 is square root of I get 1 plus square root of tau k divided by 2 root 2. So, this this is our this is x 2 and we have already got x 1 we have already got uh, what is called x 1 value is if you recollect this one it is 1 by 2 root 2 square root of tau k this is the thing. Now, we have seen there that if you penalty coefficient if you start from high value and then decreasing this value to this it is approaching to the boundary of the our what is called optimization problem you are approaching there. So, now the to get the optimal solution optimum to get the optimum solution is obtained by setting or by setting x tau k tends to 0. So, if it tau k tends to 0 this is 0, 0 of this one. So, x 1 is 0 and this is 0 means x 2 is this is 1 sorry this is 0 1 is there. So, this will be 1 this is a 0. So, our optimum solution is x 1 x 2 star is 1 0 and if you want to find out and corresponding objective function value one can find this one. So, this is analytical approach we have solved, but I told you once again if you number of what is called the variables are n again then you have a n number of what is called that necessary condition again. So, you have a n number of necessary condition, but to express as x 1, x 2, x 3 in terms of that what is called the um, penalty coefficient, it is almost what is called tough job. We cannot express it. How we can solve this problem? Whatever the set of equation you got it from the necessary condition that you can solve our standard numerical methods solving that set of equation optimization problem by numerical methods and that we have seen you can solve it by Newton Raphson method that is um, conjugate gradient method then you would um, steepest descent method then modified Newton Raphson method all these things you can apply to solve a set of nonlinear equation to get the optimum value of the function. So, this is let us call once you got the expression with the iterative this is where then finally we actually 
tau k tends to infinity is 0. Yes. When exterior point we have start from the low value of interior point that means, we are starting from the far away from this it is approaching to the boundary of this one when tau k tends to infinity, but here is the interior point is different. Both the methods from the exterior points we take the point from the outside the feasible region and it gives a, a sequence of solution and ultimately we are approaching the optimal solution of the problems. Whereas, in interior point method we take a point in the inside the feasible region and ultimately a sequence of iteration it will give you the what is called optimal solution of the nonlinear optimization problem. That means, it is approaching to the boundary of the feasible region this one. So, let us solve this thing is using iterative method similar as the exterior point using iterative method. You know the x 1 x 2 expression in terms of what is called the penalty coefficients. So, that table you form it like this table. tau k, then x 1 superscript tau k is equal to just now we have computed that expression. One plus square root of tau k divided by two root two bracket. Then you find out x two of k that will be a tau k divided by two root two. This x two. Then you find out the penalty function value at each iteration that one, then you find out the objective function value as given in the problem. So, what is p? I am writing it p is if you refer to our earlier pages then you will see 4 that is one third x 1 plus 1 whole cube plus x 2 that is our p that is our f of x and then tau k divided by 2 that x 2 see this one p what we have written p ah, that p is written here you see this minus that one that is coming minus tau k 1 minus x k. So, it is a that you can write it tau k x 1 minus this our, our problem is this one this this thing agree. So, that will come tau k that means x 1 2 x 1 minus 1 okay. minus plus tau k 2 x 2. See this one what is this? it is actually minus I just change this order x 1 minus x 2 minus minus plus I change the order x 1 minus x 1 okay, this and f of x value you know already this is our f of x if you see this is our f of x this value. So, let us call we started with a high value of tau k 1 1000 okay and immediately I can find out the value of this because tau k value is 1000 this is this is known. So, x 1 value is coming that 1000 means it is a 10 is standard 10 root 5 all this thing. So, this value will come 3.49 values and this value square root of 1000 2 by t that will come x 2 values will come 
1803. So, you will just omit x 2 here x 2 because x 2 under this column only. So, x 1 value is this one x 2 value is this one. So, now immediately I can find out the f x this is our f x. So, this f x value is coming 165.412 put the value of x 1 x 2 in this expression that is our f x if you see that is our f x and you will get this one. Once you get this one f x you add these two terms with the f x tau k you know x 1 you know is 3.4 9 x 2 you know. So, you can find out then that give you will give you the 410.94. So, next what we will do this is the our and you see if you see the our <coughs> value of f of x is that one. Now, you reduce the value of penalty coefficient by let us call one tenth. So, it will be 100 put the value of 100 is means 10 divided by 2 root 2 plus 1 square root of that one that will come 2.1296. Similarly, x 2 put the value of lambda tau k 100 then you will get this value is 3.535. Once you know the x 1 x 2 the f x value is that one this value you will come you will get it 55.5. 101 and similarly p you can calculate 11 113.41 now once again you reduce this one let us call 10 one tenth of this one then this value will get 1.4553 this is 1.118 then this is 2421 and this is 39 0.66. Now, this one you see function objective function value is decreased. So, one can stop it when this part is almost 0 or p and f is same then only you can stop it or you can see our what is the stopping criteria you used we have used in the algorithmic steps that you can follow it. Next is if you proceed like this way, then if you just do next step is 10 to the power of minus 6 lambda tau k, then this equal to 1.0002 and this will be a 3 point point five three four point three five four into 10 to the power of minus 3. And once you know x 1 x 2 I can find out this one is 10.676 and which is nearly equal to 10.6792. So, if you further proceed and 0 we put it here is value is 1 and here value is 0 then this value is 10.666 this value also 10.6. But in general I told you if you have a number of variables are n you have a n sets of what is called uh, necessary condition and that x 1 x 2 all decision variables you cannot express in terms of our penalty coefficient and this method you cannot apply it either iterative method or the that uh, analytical method this one. What you have to do uh, once you get it the set of equation necessary condition from the set of in equation from the necessary condition that you solve numerically and get the results for optimum value of the function. So, this is about that iteration and there is a another method is there what is called they are called is a what is called logarithmic logarithmic interior penalty so 
if you have a now in more general aid, this logarithm penalty function structure is like this way. the penalty term can also be taken the same as earlier method 1 1 by summation of reciprocal law of 1 by g i minus only we are expressing in terms of logarithm that as the logarithm of the constraints so our penalty function is like x then tau k then f of x minus tau k agree then your summation of j is equal to 1 to m we have a m such inequality condition minus minus of g j of x this agree and this tau k value is greater than 0 and it is a penalty coefficient. See this one, because it is an interior point, it is an interior point method. We take a point in the inside the feasible region and that considered as the interior point, which satisfy the inequality constraint of the problem statement. That means, this inequality constraint, this is the negative term, negative, negative, positive. So, this quantity ln natural log of this one, you will get some value. Okay, then tau k is this one. <coughs> so, logarithm, uh, logarithm and penalty term can be used for equality constraints. So, note this logarithm penalty function can be used. in in equality equality constraint after modifying the e equality constraint let us call this is the equality constraint we have is equal to 0 for i is equal to 1 2 dot dot p our problem is this one so this inequality constraint i can convert into a two inequality constraint hi of x another is this and both are i is equal to 1 to p so inequality constraint you convert into this and then this multiplied by minus 1 both side you will be greater than equal to so one you write it in place of that one, you write it in terms of h i is greater than equal to 0 minus h i of x is again greater than equal to 0. So, replace equality sign by this, then apply the logarithm penalty function method this. So, <coughs> let us see this one directly you cannot use the h of this here, just like a exterior point method you cannot use directly this one. So, let us see what is the term associated what is this meaning of that term penalty term of that one we will just investigate this term let us see agree okay. this whole term we will investigate. So, the whole term let us denote is this is this term is I am calling logarithmic logarithm penalty function term that is equal to minus tau k ln minus g of x k this. This is that power only I have denoted by capital omega this power. Let us investigate this part. So, let us call I am plotting this one in this relation g k 
and in this direction is omega I am plotting. Okay. So, this function if you see when g k value is when g k g, g of x value is 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 constant is g of x is less than equal to 0. So, let us call g of x value is minus 1 minus 1 minus plus then this value is 0. So, at 1 this function value is here. Then further if it is less than 1 less than minus 1 less than minus 2. So, this will be a what minus 2 minus 1. So, minus 2 this value will increase for a particular value of lambda k. Then further it is preceded with minus. So, this will be a something like this next point is here. And further your g k is let us call it is less than minus 2. So, minus 2 minus plus please this is further it will increase like this way. So, it is nature is like this way it will when g k is greater than minus 1 greater than minus 1 let us call point minus 0.5 then this minus minus plus 0.5 this value will be more than this minus and, my and here preceded with minus so plus so this value will be positive value so i can write the plot the positive penalty the positive penalty term for omega okay this is the our penalty term this is the penalty term and when this penalty term is positive when the value of this is minus 1 when the value of g k is greater than minus 1 the penalty term is positive when the value of g k is less than minus 1 the penalty term negative penalty term ok. So, negative penalty term now note this one when you will get the negative penalty term for this one agree okay, one can avoid this one by assigning omega is equal to 0. So, the negative penalty could be avoided by setting omega is equal to 0. Agree? That omega value is 0 we can set it, because the penalty term if you want to keep it positive than this. <coughs> um, for all x such that g of x is less than minus 1 that is what we have seen g of x is less than minus 1. Now, let us see then how to solve the problem by using the logarithmic penalty function methods using the interior point interior logarithmic interior point method penalty function methods. So, example use the logarithmic interior point interior point penalty function methods method to solve to solve nonlinear optimization problems to some nonlinear nlp problem nlp problem agree how to solve so this example is we have taken minimize f of x 
is equal to twice x 1 plus x 2. This objective function is linear, whereas the constraints subject to the constant g 1 of x is equal to x 1 square minus x 2 is less than equal to 0 and g 2 of x is equal to minus x 1 is less than equal to 0. So, this shows first this shows that x 1 is greater than equal to feasible region x 1 is greater than 0 and once x 1 is greater than 0 this shows that x 2 is both side you multiplied by minus 1 minus x 2 plus x 1 is greater than equal to 0. So, minus you take it. So, x 2 is greater than x 1 square. Since, x 1 is greater than 0, similarly x 2 also will be implies greater than 0. So, that is the hour and x as a dimension real and its dimension is 2 cross 1, 2 decision variables are there. Then if you want to solve by what is called logarithm method, interior point method, then first we have what you have to do exactly in same manner you generate or form a penalty function for the given problem, which you are going to solve by interior point method. That means, you are considering a feasible point inside the region and that feasible point is the interior point. And starting from this one point, you are now solving the a set of equation, which is from which are formed from the necessary condition of the problem. So, this penalty function I am writing is f of x plus here is minus tau k summation of j is equal to 1 to 2 l n minus j g j of x whole this one. Okay. So, f x you know this one 2 is x 1 plus x 2 minus tau k l n l n then minus minus sign is this one g k g 1 of x is that one g 1 is what x 1 square minus x 2 bracket bracket closed then minus j is equal to l n minus j is equal to is minus x 1 bracket bracket closed this is the our penalty function agree. So, let us call this is equation number 1 or you can say that one if you can rewrite that that one if you rewrite this one or say the, because instead of rewriting this one write equation 1. Then our necessary condition for this one necessary condition So, del p del x 1. Now, see this one with respect to x 1. So, that will be 2. So, is equal to 2 and x 1 is involved here. Agree? x 1 is involved here and x 1 is involved here. They are minus minus plus. So, if you differentiate with respect to this one tau k divided by 1 by x k minus sign. So, third second one what will write it? See this one second term minus tau k as it is minus tau k it is then this one is reciprocal of that one reciprocal of that one differentiation of this one means minus x 1 square plus x 2 and the differentiation of that one is equal to into minus twice x 1. Agree? So, this minus minus plus and there is another term is here if you differentiate with respect to this is minus minus plus this is minus. So, it will be 1 by x 1. So, tau k divided by x 1. 
So, that is equal to 0. Agree? So, we can write it twice plus twice tau k into x 1 this this minus minus plus minus tau k by x 1, but here denominator part is this one then minus x 1 square plus x 2 this equal to 0. Let us call this is equation number 2 and del p del x 1 I have done it del x 2 is equal to what? Now, you differentiate with respect to 2, 2 is here involved, 2 is involved is x 2 involved here. So, we can write it now that 2 minus minus tau k you can write it and this will be 1 by that one and this minus and this minus plus. So, there will be no coefficient will come here. So, that will be a minus of this Agree? Then what will write it that one tau k divided by minus x 1 square plus x 2 into 1. See this one, this part tau k I am differentiating with respect to x 2. So, divided by this one. So, it is minus x 1 plus x 2 into differentiation of x 2 means 1. So, this equal to 0. So, we have a 2 is equal to tau k x 1 square minus plus x 2 this let us call this is equation number 3. So, from 2 one can solve the equation of for x 1 because say from there. So, you see tau k minus x 1 square plus x 2 tau k divided by x 1 square plus x 2 this portion I can replace by 2. Agree? This equal to I can replace by 2. So, if you replace from 2 now, from 2, so 2 plus 2 into 2 into 2 into x 1 into x 1 minus tau k divided by x 1 is equal to 0. So, if you solve this one, this equation, because it is now a value a x 1, you can express in terms of tau k. So, now our solution of x k, I am skipping this one, you will get a quadratic equation like this x 1 4 x 1 square plus twice x 1 minus tau k is equal to 0. If you simplify that equation, you will get it that one. So, therefore, x 1 is equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 a c, c is minus tau k divided by twice a. So, ultimately we will get it this one after simplification of this one we will get it 1 minus 1 plus minus root over 1 plus Four tau k. Now tell me, this is the x one. What value of x one I will select? That if you recollect that our original problem we have considered here, that this. So x one is greater than zero. So if you consider minus sign, this quantity is greater than one. So it will be a negative. So one has to consider this is minus one, but this is greater than one. So, we have to consider positive sign. So, that our x 1 consider because consider the positive sign because of that restriction. Okay? Or you can say that our g 2 since g 2 of x is equal to minus x 1 is less than equal to 0. Agree? And we have seen x 1 is greater than equal to 0 this one. So, I have to consider the positive sign you have considered 1 fourth minus 1 plus 1 plus 4 tau k. 
this is our solution for x 1. Once you know the x 1, then from 3, equation 3, this one, from 3, put the value of x 1 here, then you will get x 2. So, I can write it this, this one from 3. Two is equal to tau k divided by rewrite this equation minus x one square plus x two. So it is you will get it minus x one square plus x two is equal to tau k by two. So now I can if you take it x one square that side it will be x two is equal to x two is equal to x one square plus tau k by 2, x 1 square just now you got it, the x 1 x 1 is this one square of that one. So, it will be a 16 1 by 6 is equal to minus 1 plus root over 1 plus 4 tau k whole square plus tau k by 2. So, again now you put it tau k tends to 0 in order to get the optimal solution of this problem to so, tau k tends to 0, we get x 1 star is equal to x 1 you see here x 1 expression, this x 1 tau k is 0, that means it will be 1 minus 1 plus 1 0. So, that will be a 0 and x 2 star will be C x 2 star tau k is 0, this is 0, agree? This is 0 and this is 0. So, it will be 1, 1 minus 1 0. So, this is a 0. So, our optimal solution for this one x 1 star x 2 star the optimum value of this one is equal to 0 0 and the corresponding things you can find out the value of and same thing you can solve it by using the iterative method. The same problem you can solve by using iterative method. So, I leave it this is an exercise you just do it at home, but the table I formed it tau k then x 1 superscript k is equal to whatever the expression you got it minus 1 plus root over 1 plus 4 tau k x 2 k is equal to 1 by 16 minus 1 1 by 16 minus 1 plus square root 1 plus 4 tau k square plus tau k by 2, then you write p expression, you know already p expression, p then you write it f expression, this f of x superscript k this expression. So, I will just do for you first iteration k is equal to 1, if you consider 4, put the value of 4 here, then you will get 0.781 then this value will come 2.61 and this value will come 0.173, because this expression you know already what is the expression we have considered here. This is the example, if you see the example we consider that value of what is this expression, example? Huh. this example and p is that one put this value of x 1 x 2 tau k in this expression that value you will get it this, this one. The this is the expression for this one you put it x 1 x 2 tau k value in this expression p expression you will get it. Then f f, f is a objective function value that you will get, first you will get calculate the object function value 6 point 7 6 point 7 8 So, this next okay, you reduce the value of this one by one tenth, let us call second deviation take 0 0.4 and you will get it 0 
and that value you are getting 0 0.2001, that function value you are getting it 0.4386 and this value you will get 1.406. So, if you do this one iteration, if you go on increasing at tau k is equal to 0, you will get x is 0, this is 0 and this value you will get it 0, because x 1 0, x 2 0, what is the objective function twice x 1 plus x 2, this is 0 and ultimately this is 0. So, our solution is that our solution is coming <coughs> x 1 star x 2 star is 0, 0. Now, <coughs> you may have problem here you see that when you consider the our penalty function of that one if you see tau k if you see this one tau k is minus l n x 2 minus tau k minus x 1 square plus x 2. This when you put x 2 is 0 then I told you when this coming is x 2 is 0, this is a coming, you cannot find out this one. So, this you assign with this value is equal to 0 that you are come coming to this one. Agree? So, this is the end of this problem <coughs> when this is problem when tau k you assign to 0. So, we will stop it here for the next class, we will just consider the, so far we have discussed the single variable optimization problems, but in real practice and application you will see there are number of what is called objective function may be more than one, two or more than two. So, in that situation how to obtain the optimal solution of a multi objective optimization problems, how to solve it for a nonlinear or linear optimization problems. So, that we will discuss next class.